People deluded, I'm back again. Allegedly, Arsenal have identified a new attacking target. Jokerez has been urged to join Arsenal and another club has thrown their hat into the ring where Arda Galer is concerned. I don't know where you lot are at, people, but I don't take much stock in the rumours, especially because the market isn't open. However, it does provide us with some good talking points, especially as we're moving ever closer to Arsenal versus Nottingham Forest and hopefully we can you know, simply put, turn our form around and really make a go at trying to win this Premier League title. If I share my screen with you lot, don't forget to smash the like button and comment any thoughts. Get those creative juices flowing. Arsenal target assist machine Alex Brunier. Again, butchered his name, but we all know he's a Spanish international, can play as a creative midfielder as well as being a wide playmaker. Lovely technical level. I'm sure he's left-footed as well, people. Apparently, Football Transfers understands that Arsenal scouts were in Copenhagen on Friday to watch Villarreal winger Alex Boyer in action for Spain against Denmark. Now, we could have been watching several Spanish players, could have been watching Denmark players. Someone could just happen to be an Arsenal scout and owing to the industry got tickets to be at the game and it's merely coincidental. And there's no way of us proving if there's any facts in this. Everybody's scouting everyone. But the 23-year-old Spanish international is a left winger who pre predominantly operates with his right foot, a perfect profile that perfect that perfectly fits Arsenal's current needs well then for me from I'm no religious watcher of him but we've all seen him play for Villarreal rel relatively ball footed but you know left winger on the right hand side I'm all for that we've been linked with a lot of whether they're wingers or tens or creative players just creative players now we all know we're Arsenal we definitely need some creators and we need Mikel Arteta to get back playing some free-flowing football of 2022-23 throwing the defensive side of last year in nothing stopping us apart from ourselves because we shoot ourselves in the foot. Apparently, he lined up in the same side as Arsenal midfielder Mikel Moreno, a pair in the Gunners were keen to observe. And again, that's another point. We could have just been watching Mikel Moreno and watching no one at all. This could be creative journalism. The prospect of this partnership caught their attention prompting them to fly out and watch Boué in action to see how the duo performed together. Unfortunately, Boué had to leave the pitch prematurely as an ankle problem forced him to come off in the 62nd minute. Right on brand with the injury issues we face, so maybe we were looking at him. Hopefully, there's no serious damage. Apparently, he got 14 goals in La Liga last term. Does appear a bit lightweight and 18 in all competitions, people. This season, he's got five assists and one goal in 12 outings. Apparently, if a move um, to Arsenal were to materialise, it's believed the 23-year-old could slot into a similar dynamic with Arsenal's Martin Odegaard and Bukayo Saka, mirroring the latter's inverted role on the right flank. Sources have suggested that Buer, if the Gunners were to firm up their interest, could be a more straightforward signing compared to other targets like Nico Williams. You reckon? Obviously, we've heard Arteta is a big admirer of, of Nico Williams, the 22-year-old, who has a 58 million release clause. But as we know, there's Barcelona that are looking at him apparently he'd be slightly more expensive in terms of his transfer fee as his release clause stands at 60 million euros however he is believed to be on a significantly lower wage than nico williams so where would be a bit cheaper it's easy to link us with creative players everybody's scouting everyone i don't know how much stock personally i'm going to take in that but i'll leave you lot to know would you take him do you think he's good enough do you think he's a curtain raiser slash level raiser does he raise the floor and what would they what sort of asking price would villarreal want apparently yoko Rez's former mentor would love the striker to join the Premier League club. Uh, Limpa, Anders Limpa, who some Arsenal fans will remember, says he would love to see sporting sensation Victor Jokerez make the big step in his career by completing a crazy transfer or better yet, move to Arsenal. By this um, by this now, people, everybody knows what Jokerez is on. Whether you've watched him or not, every week the man is scoring either for his club or country. I've said before, I don't necessarily think he'll get this volume of goals in the Premier League, but I think he's done it in the last two years. I think he can get goals if you create chances. There's enough variety in his finishing and there's enough general play I've seen to... I'm not going to sit here and say he's the one, but if we signed him, I definitely would be happy. You would imagine Arsenal, Bayern Munich, PSG... Chelsea need a forward. Everybody's monitoring him. Apparently, his release clause stands at 83 million. Apparently, Sporting could be willing to do business for as little as 63 million for their prize asset at the end of the season. I know some Arsenal fans would like a winger or a striker in the summer. I mean, in, in January, definitely would have liked it last summer. 
but probably not going to see that happen in January. You never know, though. Obviously, Ruben Amarin has gone over there as well, people, to Man United, so that adds a bit of fire to it. They've been linked with Diamande, who I've been saying, I think he's the first one they'll buy. They need a defender, and we were tracking Diamande completely off topic in, in his time at Denmark. We've seen him in actions for sporting. I'm not even talking about the scouts. Now I'm talking about Arsenal fans. I would love him. I think we need another versatile defender, but for what it's worth, Limper has said, I know Jokeres very well personally. I was a bit of a mentor for him when he played for. I'm going to attempt it. Brahma Porkana, forgive me for mispronunciation. So I've talked a lot about professional life with him. He's a fantastically hardworking forward who scores a lot of goals. I mean, if he scores a lot of goals and he's hardworking, I think that will get the ears perking from Mikel Arteta. If we, if if we were at if we at Arsenal were to buy Jokerez, then he would definitely call me. But then to see Jokerez at Arsenal, that would be crazy. His work rate, he runs like a madman. When it doesn't work out for Victor, he works his way into the game with uncomfortable runs. His channel plays good and he can hit a free kick. I like what I see from him, man, if I'm honest with you. When other top forwards aren't doing well, they don't work so hard for the team. They save their energy. Jokerez never saves his energy. When things are a bit slow, he works his way into the game with runs. That's why it's gone so well. Fair enough, people. We have to remember that the Portuguese league is inferior to the Premier League, but when Man City came to Lisbon, he scored a hat-trick, so he's fully capable of scoring in England. He has played for Coventry and scored goals. He knows the English mentality, which is a big plus point. I think his next step is to play in the Premier League, and he can really choose which team he plays And I'm sure he'll have a pick of clubs, but this is assuming everybody is going to bid. Arsenal, Manchester United, Chelsea, Bayern Munich, Paris Saint-Germain, and probably some other clubs I haven't mentioned have all been linked. Whether they're going to make a bid is another thing, people. Pardon me, but 23 goals in 18 games is, is serious, people. I think I think everybody would, would want to listen. Arsenal are interested in signing Arda Galur and have contacted the players' entourage as well as Real Madrid to be informed of his situation. Arsenal see parallels between Galur and Martin Odegaard and will try to repeat the operation. I think he is a good player. I'm having him at Arsenal. I covered this in the last vid. I understand if you want a more direct winger or a striker. I don't take too much stock in this because, yes, it could repeat the Martin Odegaard operation, but before Odegaard signed permanently for Arsenal, he joined us on loan, and before that, he went to Sociedad, and I'm sure he played in Holland. So I don't think they're going to get rid of Galur anytime soon, but game time is limited for him and Edric and other players. So you never know what the second half of the season is saying, but surely Real Madrid explore loans and things like that before they really want to sell him. But if, if we could... Why not, people? Apparently, Manchester United are willing to offer... <laughs> Manchester United are willing to offer Anthony to Real Madrid as part of a deal. They're not even... The, the outlets and the journalists, they're not even trying to make up realistic lies. I mean, boy, if Real Madrid... You never know. Football's funny. If he went to Real Madrid and balled out, we'd all have to eat humble pie. But this is why I don't take too much stock in this. But it is nice to speak about it with you lot. Las Palmas will evaluate offers for Alberto Milero, 21 years of age, next summer if he does not agree a new contract. Arsenal stands out for the player and he finds their project more than interesting. Milero could be available for around 20 million euros. Another versatile creative player. Obviously, when you come through Las Palmas now, you're going to be linked to Pedri. Don't think he's in the same bracket, but I do like his technical level. We need creative players. I'm a Wenger baby. I always want that. And I do think we've got the tough, tall Spartans, aerial dual winners. But I think we need some players with a bit more glitz and glamour, a bit more invention and intention and creative flair. Also, the manager would have to promote that as well. It says he doesn't, if he doesn't agree a new contract. So I have no doubt Arsenal and a lot of clubs are scouting everyone, as I've said before, folks. But once I start seeing, for me personally, once I start seeing their little contract isms and schisms, I take it with a pinch of salt, people. But there's a growing Spanish influence at Arsenal. It would make sense, people. Uh, Jorginho, whose contract is running out, he's been linked with Besiktas. Apparently, they're close to convincing him over a possible transfer and are looking to sign him on a free agent basis. They want to bring the Arsenal man in January, but it's likely they'll have to wait until the summer transfer window. Uh, again, Jorginho, whether he wants to begin his coaching career, maybe even offered an opportunity at Arsenal with what's going on in Saudi. I couldn't begrudge anyone at 32 years of age. A bit like part A, if they want to go over there and get a payday. Does he want to go back and play in Italy? Does he want to go back to Brazil? I don't know. But Jorginho is one of those that I feel is like Kivior and of recent Zinchenko, Tierney, Jesus. It's kind of easy to link these guys for obvious reasons with moves away. 
um, for a variety of reasons. So, yeah, he's been linked with a move to Turkey. Whether you believe that's or not, or not, it's another thing. This is just saying we've been linked with Arda Galea. Kivior is someone that's been linked with a move away. Apparently, Juventus are eyeing up a move for Arsenal, Jakob Kivior, and also Manchester United's Josh Rizertsky in January. Zertsky's struggling at the moment. You never know under Amarin. Kivio can't really buy a game unless there's injuries and things of that ilk. So that's that. As we know, Kivio has had interest from Italy in a couple of clubs in Spain uh, through last summer. Nothing came of that. Even last January, he's always someone that you feel won't be forced out the door. But because there's admirers, he might generate a profit and he might be frustrated with his lack of football. For me personally, I don't. It's not that we can't afford to let these guys go. I'm very wary of letting Tini, Zinchenko, Kivio, you know, Gabriel Jesus, all of these guys that are kind of Jorginho party, these individuals that are linked with moves away in January because you're tearing up an already squad that's being tested to the brink. It does not make sense in my opinion. And are these clubs going to try and buy him permanently in January or would you try and get Kivio on a loan? And would Arsenal go for that? Um, apparently, people, what, what, has this been, what has this been said? Uh, but... Benuni, whoever that is. Oh, former midfielder Benuni um, is speaking about this. He said, a left-footed defender who can play in the middle and on the left would be ideal. Kibio is among the names I like. He's a very interesting lad who Motta launched at Spezia. Thiago knows him well, so he'd be a secure signing, which could be good for him. But they've also been linked with Skriniar and Benfica's Antonio Silva. So they must be looking at defenders. It might not be isolated to Kibio. Um, apparently, you know, Gomares to Arsenal transfer latest as Newcastle midfielder breaks his silence. I bet this is clickbait. Nonetheless, apparently he has spoken on Pep Guardiola and basically bigged him up. I do think Newcastle either have to sell Isaac or Gomares really so that they can be a bit more flexible in the transfer market and then in a couple of years get players of that ilk. Uh, we've heard this before, but Arsenal and Chelsea scouts have been closely monitoring Sao Paulo wonder kid William Gomez ahead of a potential transfer, people. Moving away from that, temporarily, you lot know I'm a big fan of Ryan Cherky, who apparently has a 25 million release clause on his head in the upcoming January market. Liverpool apparently are intensifying their efforts. I think he plays within himself. I think he's very good. And I think he could be a serious player in world football if he wants it. I think the ability is there. I'd love him at Arsenal. And I couldn't begrudge Liverpool if they want to go and do that, people. As we know, uh, Lyon are struggling financially. They're in a precarious financial situation. I think they've been pri provisionally relegated from Ligue 1 as well, people. Um Apparently, they've set a 30 million euros asking price, so about 25 odd quid people. Apparently, they would be persuaded to sell Turkey for a lower price as long as the player is interested in the move. As long as he's interested in the move. Arsenal aiming to sign exceptionally talented sport in Wonderkid. Another one that I think will end up at United. Uh, Giovanni Quenda, people. Born in Burkina Faso, playing in Portugal. Obviously, I think he's, well, he is a Portuguese international, people. Being 17 at a big club like Sporting, you're obviously going to have to be patient for football, but he does look very good. He's got blistering pace, 1v1 demon. There's a lot of raw capabilities. He'd get bums off seats at the Emirates, people. And I've spoken about him before, but we've all seen the under 17's European Championship and yeah, it is what it is, people. I mean, right footer, could you slap him on the left even though he looks more comfortable at present on the right? We want stars of tomorrow. They're going to demand a massive fee as we've seen and we face competition from both Manchester clubs in City and United as well as Liverpool, allegedly, people. Arsenal, Liverpool and Newcastle United keeping tabs on Nico Williams ahead of the January transfer window. Do we really need to, do I really need to bore you? Anything can happen, but do you really expect to see him leave in January? Leave Bill Bow in January. He's had a bit of a bummer post Euros, if I'm honest with you as well. So I'll leave you lot to draw your conclusions. And finally, Arsenal have identified Newcastle striker Alexander Rizak as their top target in the striker position. We've heard that many a times. I would love the Izaks, the Jokerezes, the Kudases, players we've spoken about at this moment in time. But it comes down to money and this is just tabloid talk. But people, I hope I've given you decent content. Let me know your thoughts on everything. Please make sure you're smashing the like button. DG Nation, I need you if we're going to get to 70 Okay. Any other impending news and anything worth talking, you know, I'll get videos and live streams and all that jazz out for you lot. But for now, take care, stay blessed, one love. <laughs>